In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to email a PowerPoint presentation within five minutes. Whether you're preparing for a business meeting, an academic presentation, or simply sharing information with friends and family, emailing your PowerPoint presentation can be a vital skill. I'll guide you through the process, step by step, ensuring you can do it quickly and efficiently. First things first, let's start by opening Microsoft PowerPoint. This might seem pretty straightforward, but it's the foundational step to get everything rolling. Simply navigate to your Start menu or Applications folder, depending on your operating system, and click on the Microsoft PowerPoint icon to launch the program. Now that your PowerPoint is open, the next move is to access your file from the opening screen. If you've recently worked on the presentation, it should be displayed prominently on the list of recent documents. If not, you'll need to click on Open and navigate to the location on your computer where the file is saved. Select the file and it will open up, ready for you to make any last minute adjustments or reviews before you proceed to share it. So you've got your presentation open and you're ready to share it. Look for the share button. This is usually located at the top right hand corner of your screen, but depending on your version of PowerPoint, its location might slightly vary. The share button is your gateway to various sharing options PowerPoint offers, including emailing your presentation directly from the program. After you click on share, you'll be prompted to type in the email address of the recipient. Here's a tip. If you're sending this to multiple people, make sure to separate each email address with a semicolon. Plus, it's always a good idea to double check the spelling of the email addresses. It's a small step that can save you from accidentally sending your presentation into the void or to the wrong person. Once you've inputted the email addresses, it's time to hit send. But before you do, take a moment. Think about whether your recipients need to make changes to the presentation. PowerPoint often gives you an option to allow recipients to edit the document. Deciding on this beforehand can save you the back and forth later on. If everything looks good, clicking Eastend will whisk your presentation off via email to its intended recipients. And there you go. That's essentially all there is to it. You've successfully emailed your PowerPoint presentation all within a matter of minutes. This skill, simple though it might appear, is invaluable in today's digital age, where sharing information quickly and efficiently is paramount. Now a couple of extra tips before we conclude. Size matters when it comes to email attachments. If your PowerPoint file is particularly large due to embedded videos or high resolution images, you might encounter some issues sending it as an attachment. Most email providers have limits on the size of attachments you can send. If you're stuck in this predicament, consider compressing your images within PowerPoint or use a file sharing service and simply email the link to your presentation. Another tip is to use the notes section in PowerPoint to add any additional information or instructions for your recipients. This can be a great way to provide context or guide the recipients on how to view or use the presentation. Sending a PowerPoint presentation via email is a common task that shouldn't take up much of your time. By following the steps we've discussed today, you'll be able to share your work with anyone, anywhere, at any time. Remember the key to efficiency is familiarity. The more you perform these steps, the quicker the process will become. Thank you for joining me today. By now you should be well equipped to email a PowerPoint presentation without breaking a sweat. Practice with your own presentations to get the hang of it. Don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tips and tutorials. Until next time, keep sharing your ideas and making an impact with your presentations.